Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about weldability. So basically, the contents of this video is like what is weldability. First, we'll learn the concept of weldability. Then we'll learn how to determine weldability. So this is the most important point, how to determine weldability. And while learning determining weldability, we'll also learn carbon equivalent because carbon equivalent is one of the most uh, bigger key factor in calculating weldability. And this is a very very common topic in welding carbon equivalent and finally we'll learn or i'll calculate the carbon equivalent of mild steel and then i'll calculate carbon equivalent of ss304 and then we'll compare the weldability of mild steel and stainless steel so basically you will have seen carbon equivalent formula many times but nobody would have cal calculated the carbon equivalent of any material so in this video i'll calculate the carbon equivalent of two materials that is mild steel and sa36 and we'll compare the weldability of those materials so this is basically a very practical kind of video to explain you what is weldability to start with first i request you to please join my channel see if you have subscribed my channel after subscribing you will see a join icon and by pressing that join icon and by paying a very small amount you can become a member of my channel and you can support my initiative financially so let's start what is weldability to learn weldability i will uh, you know use very simple words like weldability is the ability of a material to be welded means how weld a material can be welded with required properties that is weldability if a material can be welded easily then that is good weldability material and if a material cannot be welded very easily then that uh, then the weldability of that material is not good so basically this is the ability of a material to be welded with required properties so how to determine weldability to determine the weldability we need to calculate the carbon equivalent carbon equivalent is a formula and that formula is given here so carbon equivalent can be calculated by percentage of carbon then percentage of manganese by 6 then percentage of copper plus nickel divided by 15 and percentage of chromium moly and vanadium divided by 5 so this is basically a small formula of carbon equivalent the formula is very long but practically only this much is used to calculate the weldability this gives a good figure of weldability so after calculation of uh, carbon equivalent uh, you can judge the weldability of a material for example if your result is up to 0.4 percent so basically this value will come in percent so if it is 0.4 then the weldability will be good and if uh, the weldability is between 0.4 to 0.05 then sorry the carbon equivalent is 0.0 to 0.5 then the weldability will be called as limited or fair weldability and preheating might be required for those materials during welding and if the carbon equivalent is more than 0.5 then we can call it as a poor weldability material the weld, welding of those materials having carbon equivalent more than five percent is very tough and very you know very uh, tough and very hard to weld those materials hence very careful procedures are required to weld these materials and preheating post heating and post weld heat treatment might also be required for such kind of materials so now we'll calculate the uh, carbon equivalent of SA36 that is a mild steel a mild SA36 is a mild steel uh, great material and see uh, we'll take the value from a MTC I have taken the values of carbon manganese chromium moly vanadium nickel and copper from a MTC of SA36 so these are the material and by putting those material in the formula we will get the carbon equivalent of SA36 So we'll go to the previous slide. Here you can see percentage of carbon to be kept as it is, then a percentage of magnesium by six. So magnesium is how much? Magnesium is 0.80%. So here it is 0.8 by six. Then second one was percentage of copper plus percentage of nickel divided by 15. So percentage of copper was 0.20 and percentage of 
nickel is 0.15. So it is 0.20 plus 0.15 divided by 15. And finally, we have percentage of chromium, moly and vanadium divided by 5. So percentage of chromium is 0.20. Just a second. Yes. Here this is it was percentage of copper and here it is percentage of chromium. So copper and chromium both are 0.20. So here copper was there and now 0.20 is chromium. Then you have 0.10 that is moly and 0.05 that is vanadium. So chrom, moly, vanadium divided by 5. So after calculating this, we'll get it as 0.476. So where it stands, 0.476 will come in the second criteria that is between 0 0.4 to 0.5 means slightly more than 0.4 means it is slightly more than the good, good weldability criteria. So we can say it as fair weldability. So stainless steel normally have good weldability but in particular in this material the uh, the percentage of carbon equivalent is slightly higher than the good weldability material. So it is a fair weldability material that is SA36. Now, secondly, we'll calculate the carbon equivalent of SS304. So in SS304, again, we'll put all the values in our formula. First, we'll put the percentage of carbon that is 0 0.08. Then we'll put the percentage of manganese by 6. That is 2 by 6. Magnesium is 2 by 6. Then third one was percentage of copper plus percentage of nickel by 15. So percentage of copper is how much? Percentage of copper is 0. 0.5. So here we have put 0. 0.5 and percentage of nickel is 8. So we have 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.8 divided by 15. And finally, percentage of chromium, moly and vanadium. So percentage of chromium is 18, then percentage of moly is 0 0.75, then percentage of vanadium is 0 0.10. So after calculating this, we'll get 4.5. This is very high. Again, we'll see the criteria. Let me erase just a second. So here you can see. Up to 0.4% it was good weldability, between 0.4 to 0.5 limited or fair weldability and above 0.5 poor weldability. Here you can see it is, it is very far from 0.5, very far from 0.5 means the weldability of SS304 is very poor, hence it is very hard to weld SS304 that you have to keep in mind. A normal welder who can weld mild steel may feel difficulty in welding SS304. So this is the comparison between mild steel and stainless steel weldability or we can say comparison of mild steel and uh, stainless steel carbon equivalent. Friends, many a times you would have seen the formula of carbon equivalent, but nobody has calculated. So I decided to calculate this practically and show in my slides. Hope you like this video and friends, if you are finding my videos helpful, then please join my channel too. Now finally, we'll learn some of the key factors which affect weldability. So the material composition is the main factor which affect weldability. Now some other key factors which are associated with that is the residual stress. Means during welding there will be expansion and contraction because of the welding the material will uh, come in molten stage then it will solidify. So there will be expansion and contraction and that uh, expansion and contraction will be unequal. So that will also affect the weldability of the material then restraint stresses because during welding sometimes you put or you fix your material with jigs, fixtures or clamps during fit up. So that also affect the weldability. Then microstructural susceptibility. See one more thing I want to tell, like higher the car carbon equivalent, if the carbon equivalent will be more, then the microstructure will be, will be susceptible to cracking by brittle fracture. So that is uh, during, see, during welding the material is heated and it is heated up to the molten stage of that material and hence uh, there will be 
the microstructure reformation and that will be also affecting the weldability of the material then base metal thickness thickness is a very big criteria higher the thickness the faster the cooling rate of the material will be hence that is also a big criteria then the joint thicknesses unequal joint thicknesses extra that also affect the weldability so friends we have come to an end an end of our uh, today's video hope you like our today's video and if you find my channel more uh, helpful then please join my channel thank you very much